Good day. We'll be reading manilatimes.net. Lopez applied for Filipino citizenship. ABS-CBN Corp. Chairman Emeritus Eugenio Gabi Lopez III applied for Filipino citizenship in October 2000, more than a decade after taking over the helm of the media company. The Manila Times obtained a copy of the Bureau of Immigration Recognition Number 00-051 dated April 25, 2001 and signed by Associate Commissioner Daniel C. Cueto, officially recognizing Lopez as a Filipino citizen. He petitioned for the recognition on October 12, 2000, giving his date of birth as August 13, 1952, and place of birth as Massachusetts, USA. The immigration document notes that his parents are Eugenio Lopez Jr. and Conchita Lau Lopez, both Filipino citizens. The document further made it clear that approval of the recognition had to be affirmed by the Justice Secretary, who at the time was Hernando Perez. Lopez has stated that the Department of Justice and the Bureau of Immigration recognize his Philippine citizenship through Identification Certificate Number 0069 issued October 1, 2002. But even if he was granted Filipino citizenship in 2002 and dual citizenship in 2003, immigration records tend to show that from 1986 when he first joined ABS-CBN to 2002, Lopez was in fact an American citizen. Article 16, Section 11 of the Constitution limits the ownership and management of mass media to Philippine citizens. Lopez has been an American citizen for about 50 years until his application for Filipino citizenship was approved in 2002. The United States abides by the principle of jus soli by birth, the right of anyone born in the territory of a state to nationality or citizenship. The Philippines follows the principles of Jus Sanguinis by blood, which means that citizenships is determined or acquired by the nationality of ethnicity, ethnicity of one of both parents. Lopez first used his Philippine passport number ZZ095942 on March 16, 2003. That would indicate that he did not renounce his U.S. citizenship when he applied for Filipino citizenship. He used his U.S. passport for several decades based on his immigration travel record. The last time was last January 2 on a special flight to Haneda, Japan. From January 10, 1995 to December 8, 2002, he used a U.S. passport during his travels abroad. A constitutional law expert, retired Supreme Court Justice Antonio Eduardo Natura says there is no jurisprudence on the issue of whether someone who holds two citizenship can own a Philippine media company. Natura believes that Lopez broke the law when he took over ABS-CBN while he was still a U.S. citizen. He committed no violation when he held dual citizenship while he ran the broadcast network. There is no jurisprudence yet for dual citizens to own a media company. Kung dual citizen, Filipino pa rin siya, and I would suppose he is not disqualified. A day after the Manila Times ran a banner story on the legal questions surrounding Lopez's citizenship and their implications on his assuming the network's chairmanship, ABS even issued a statement defending his Filipino citizenship. The network said because Lopez was born to Filipino parents under the 1935 constitution that was in effect at that time, he is a Filipino citizen. While Lopez was born in the U.S., he did not need to acquire Filipino citizenship because he never lost it or renounced it, the statement noted. It said, both the Department of Justice and the Immigration Bureau recognize Lopez's Philippine citizenship. A passport is not the sole proof of citizenship. When Mr. Lopez asked the Bureau of Immigration to recognize his citizenship, it was for the purpose of getting official recognition of his Filipino citizenship, the network statement said. abs Ben was forced off the air last week after the National Telecommunications Commission issued a cease and desist order following the expiration of the network's franchise. ABS-CBN has contested the NTC order before the Supreme Court. On Monday, the High Court spokesman Brian Hosaka said the ABS-CBN petition has been raffled off. Hosaka did not say which justice would handle the case, saying it was confidential. 
Also on Monday, 13 senators crossed party lines to support ABS-CBN, filing a bill granting the Media Corporation a provisional franchise. The senators are Manuel Lito Lapid, Franklin Direlon, Ralph Recto, Richard Gordon, Sherwin Gachalian, Emmanuel Joel Villanueva, Juan Miguel Zubiri, Juan Edgardo Sony Angara, Maria Lourdes Nancy Binay, Ramon Bong Revilla Jr., Ana Teresa Risa Honteveros, Francis Pangilinan, and Emmanuel Mani Pacquiao. The senators explained that as early as the 16th Congress, an attempt has been made to renew the franchise through House Bill 4997. The measure never got past the committee level. During this Congress, several bills in both chambers were filed for the extension of ABS-CBN's franchise for another 25 years. The House measures remain stuck at the committee level, they said. The senators adopted Senate Resolution 344 authorizing the NTC to issue a provisional authority to ABS-CBN, its subsidiaries and affiliates ABS-CBN Convergence Incorporated, Sky Cable Corporation, and Amkara Broadcasting Network Incorporation until Congress acts on the franchise renewal bills. The senators recalls that during the hearing of the Senate Committee on Public Service last February 24, Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara said Congress, through a concurrent resolution, could direct the NTC to provide such a provisional authority with Red Mendoza and Javier Joe Ismael. And that's the news today.